Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to create a set of checkboxes. Uh, forms commonly use checkboxes for questions that may have more than one answer. So checkboxes are different than radio buttons. If you click multiple checkboxes, you can have multiple of those boxes checked. They're a type of input. Uh, check your ch uh, Each of your checkboxes can be nested within its own label element. By wrapping an input element inside of your label element, it will automatically associate this checkbox input and the label element surrounding it. All related checkbox checks checkbox inputs should have the same name attribute, just like the radio buttons. It is considered best practice to explicitly define the relationship between a checkbox input and its corresponding label by setting the for attribute on the label element to match the ID attribute for the associated input element. Here's an example of a checkbox. So it has a label and it has four and then loving. You notice how loving matches the, uh, the uh, text that's inside of it. So we say for loving and then also the ID. So you've got three things, the label, the ID, and this part. Uh, the type is equal to a checkbox and the name is personality. So what we wanna do is add to our form a set of three checkboxes. Each check checkbox should be nested within its own label element. All three should share the name attribute, meaning this is the, uh, the name attribute right here, which was personality for this example, um, and also for the example that we're going to use. So the page should have three checkbox elements. So where do we want to put the checkbox? Um, we want to put them at the top, I suppose. We can go, we want to indent from the form. Uh, and so we go label four equals, and then what do we want to make each one of these? You should have, each of your ch three checkbox elements should be nested in its own label element. Give your checkboxes the name attribute of personality. Okay, cool. So we're just going to make this one elements for the cats, like uh, things like uh, attributes for cats. So we're going to say the first one, let's just copy what they have up there for now. The first cat is loving, and that's the label element. We can close the label element here, and then we can do the input now. And we're going to make the ID equal to loving. The type is equal to a checkbox, and the name is equal to uh, personality. We're just going to copy this for now. And now we want to add loving to this section here. And then we close the, oh, the input is a uh, self-closing tag, so we don't need to worry about it. Now you see how it's uh, different than the radio buttons? This is the checkbox type thing. So now we can continue on this way. So we'll go label for, um, peaceful. And then in there, we're going to have an input element, which has the ID of peaceful. And the type, again, is equal to check box. And the name is going to be equal to personality again. And then after the input, we want to add peaceful. And then we're going to close that label again. Um, again, press the shift tab key. Now you see we have two checkboxes. And the cool thing that's different about the checkboxes is that they can both be clicked, whereas the radio buttons don't allow for that. We know that we need three checkboxes. So we're going to continue with these traits of personality. So we're going to have label for and then what's this label should be? It should be playful. Um, in the playful label, we can close label as well. Command shift, and now we've got the label wrapped up, and now we just need to put in the input value, which will be equal to playful. This is the same sort of uh, strategy we've been using before in keeping the ID the for label and then the elements like checkbox label the same. Um, again, we're going to make this one checkbox and we're going to make the name the same to the previous uh, name examples. So personality. We close that input. The input's a self-closing box. And with this one, 
we're going to wrap it up by typing in playful. And now we're complete. I'm going to add a little BR tag in here because it breaks the line so that we can see the difference between them. BR tag is just kind of a, an element that adds space. So we have, these are our three input text checkboxes. And because they are all properly formatted, let's just expand. I want to make one more quick note before we move on. You notice how I kept the label elements and the tab spacing all equal. This makes it so it's really easy to read the code. This is what people talk about when they talk about reading good looking code. If you focus on keeping your code clean and well tab tabulated like this, it's very useful. Um, obviously with this small text editor, it gets messed up, but when it's spread out, it looks great. So let's run the test, see how it works. We passed our tests. That was a little bit more complex of an HTML5 um, tutorial and um, glad you guys are here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.